a question during class, type it in the chat box. I see that pop up and I check on you guys every now and again. It's just not in my, I just can't demonstrate the whole time. So I will be checking on you guys. I can physically, but I like to see what you're doing. So I will be keeping an eye on you. Um, we're going to start in meditation. So come to your seat. Beautiful, Dan. I like the look of that. Come to your seat. Close your eyes. And just take time to settle in. Feeling the sit bones on the floor, on your mat, on your cushion. Begin to breathe through your nose. Relax the shoulders. Through your breath and through your awareness and through the way you hold your body, the way you carry yourself, we develop Stira Sukha or Stira Sukha Asanam, which is the balance of steadiness and ease in the body. And throughout class, the, the balance will tip a little bit, just like a seesaw. And in fact, to have balance, we must move either side of that center point. That is balance. So if we try to be rigid and still and stay in a state of balance, we actually create imbalance. So start with the breath, feel that sera sukha, and know that throughout class, you're gonna have times where you feel too much steadiness, too much rigid, stubborn, righteousness, and then other times you may tip towards too much ease where you could be unstable, weak, ungrounded. And many of us uh, have a tendency towards one or the other, and you can create power, which I prefer to use the word power over strength, because power is the combination of strength and flexibility, of um, steadiness and ease. So find the balance in meditation through your breath, through the way you hold your body, and maybe inquire as to where you may have a tendency to go today and create balance, therefore power, um, through the practice. Particularly if you feel that your power lies in being passive or your power lies in conquering or being right, then you can create a greater state of power through this practice. So just getting quiet, following your breath, using it to create balance, to pull back where you need, to forge your way forward where you need. As you breathe in, feel the spine elongate, the body lift and swell. As you breathe out, feel your shoulders relax and find ease in your body. A few more moments here in quiet contemplation, pranayama, meditation. If you do have an intention for class, which remember can translate into your goals, dreams, and desires for life, see that now. You may like to bring palms together at heart center or just set your conscious intent for class. Okay, and we're going to start with our right leg extended, our left foot into our thigh, and the general, and you're going to pick up the flesh of the right sit bone and pull it out, and that's going to naturally rotate your body towards the right leg. So as you can see, if you're looking at me, I'm sitting up quite comfortably with this leg extended. If you've got a tight hamstring, sitting up tall, easy and light is not going to be easy. So grab a cushion or double up your mat and stick it under your butt. 
Breathe in, raise the arms overhead with a flat back, lift your chest. As you breathe out, you're gonna hinge forward and come over that leg into a forward fold. Back issues, just start to come forward until you feel a gentle stretch in the hamstring, okay? Inhale, lengthen spine, send the butt back. Exhale, fold into the leg. We'll keep it dynamic to warm the body. Inhale, lengthen spine, send the front body forward. Exhale, fold into the leg. Inhale, lengthen, front body is flat, back body is flat. Exhale, fold into the leg. Few more of these, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, fold and just hang out in the stretch. Take a few balancing breaths. Okay, as you breathe in, you're gonna lift a little bit up, look forward. If you've got any back issues, you're just gonna gently come up. If, if you don't have any back issues and you're reasonably strong, on the next breath in, you're gonna reach the arms forward, come up with a flat back. Everyone raise their arms overhead, inhale. Exhale, bring the hands down, bring the left foot to the floor, bring the right hand outside the long leg. Inhale, lift up into wild plank. Okay, so you're on the outer edge of your right foot, you're on the left foot, you're lifting your hips up, you're gonna stay here, finding the strength in the right arm, or you're gonna exhale, start to pick up the left foot off the floor and balance. Okay, so you're here, if you're unsure, you're here with me. Take a few breaths. One more breath in, lift your hips high. Exhale, sit your hips down. Come to the left knee, plant the left palm, rock star. Lift up onto your left knee and reach your right arm over your ear. Breathing into the side body, so we're stretching into a lateral stretch. Take a few moments here. Okay, you can stay here for those of you who want more. Exhale, pick up the right foot, bend the knee, and reach your right hand for the foot or ankle, and kick back. Okay, head back. So here's the level two option. Here's the level one option. We're on the left palm, left knee, right leg is straight, or you're holding on to the right foot. Take a few balancing breaths. One more breath in, and then exhale, just sit down on your mat with the legs crossed, just like we began in meditation. Bring one hand to the center of the chest, bring the other hand on top, feel the beating of your heart. As you breathe, feel the chest swelling and contracting under the hands. Just giving your body that time to recover your mind that time to settle. Siram Sukham Asanam, steadiness and ease in every pose. Okay, and then we're going to extend our left leg forward. Right foot is into the thigh. Pick up the flesh of the left sit bone, pull it back and your body will naturally rotate towards the left leg. Sit up nice and tall, inhale. You can stay here, or you can raise the arms over here on a breath in. Exhale, come forward over the left leg. Be mindful of any pulling in the lower back. If you're pulling, you just sit up a little bit more, and then breathe your way into it. The inhalation lengthens our spine, anatomically the spine lengthens as we breathe in. The exhale relaxes us into the stretch. Inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale, deepen stretch. Inhale. Exhale. Maybe one more breath in as you just fold into that leg.
So just start to lift up a little bit, prepare, okay? You're either just gonna, cut, so if you've got back issues, you wanna make it a little bit easier, just bring your palms to the floor and rise up. Otherwise you can reach the arms forward and rise up. Reach the arms over here, to, take a breath in here. Exhale, bring the hands down, your right foot comes to the mat, your left palm comes outside the left leg. Inhale, push into that foot and lift up into a side stretch wild thing, okay? So most of you I know can do this pose. Unless you've got wrist issues, and then you would stay down, but no one's mentioned wrist issues. So we're gonna come up, okay? If you want a little bit more, pick up the back foot, exhale, hold, Strong, balance through your breath. Wherever you are, inhale. Exhale, foot down if it's lifted, hips down, and then go away to the other side. Plant the right knee and the right palm. Inhale, rock star. Slightly easier. And you're here. Stay here. Okay, this is your level one modification, or take your left hand to your left foot or ankle. Kick back and stretch. Breathe and be very present and aware. Beautiful. Amazing. One more breath in. And then exhale, bring it down. And again, just return to the front of your mat in seated meditation. Like nothing ever happened. Just chilling out. Take a few moments. You can bring your hands to the center of the chest if you like. Feel the beating of the heart. Or just bring the hands to the knees and just give that body a chance to settle. No matter how strong you are, no matter how fit you are, no matter how accomplished you are, you need that little time of recovery. And we're going to put it into a flow. Okay? So inhale, stretch your right leg out in front of you. Exhale, pull the flesh back and rotate towards that leg. Inhale, raise your arms overhead if that's appropriate. Exhale, fold forward over the leg. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, fold into the leg. Inhale, rise, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, bring the hands down. Plant the left foot and the right palm. Inhale, lift up to wild thing. Exhale, sit your hips down. Bring your left knee to the floor and your left palm. Inhale, rock star, lift up. Exhale, sit down, cross legs at the front of the mat. Take a breath in here. And a breath out. Inhale, extend your left leg forward. Exhale, take time to rotate towards that leg. Heel forward, toes lift, reach the arms up, inhale. Hinge forward over the leg, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, hands down, bring your right foot to the floor and your left palm. Lift up, press into this foot, lift, inhale. And then sit your hips down, exhale. Come to the right knee, the bent knee, and plant the right palm either side. Inhale, lift up. And then exhale, bring your hips down, Take a breath in, seated, and come forward to our good old friend, Downward Facing Dog. Spread your fingers wide, lift your hips up, stretch back. So I didn't mention at the beginning of class, if anyone is new to Vinyasa 2, um, you may not want to mention it now, but if at any time you're unsure, do. It's always good to tell me if this is your first level 2 class. And if there's anyone here that I've not met before and I didn't get a chance to say hi to you, message me after class or if you feel like it. It's always good to know who's new. I'd love to get to know you.
Okay, so just taking some time in downward, in downward facing dog. Take a big breath in, push the floor away from you, lift your hips high, start to look towards the hands. Exhale, walk your feet forward to your hands, bringing your feet together. Inhale, come halfway up, flat back, flat front body. As you breathe out, you're gonna bend the right knee and raise your left arm to the ceiling, coming into a twist. So you can look up towards the hand, if that works, you might feel a little bit wobbly. Just look at the side wall or even at the floor. Take a moment here. Inhale, come to center. Straight legs, fingers to floor or hands to shins. Exhale, bend the left knee and raise your right arm to the ceiling. Take a moment here. Inhale, come to center. Flat back, flat front body. Exhale, fold into your legs. Inhale, rise to stand. Reach your arms overhead. Look up to the hands if it feels okay for your back. Exhale, bring your hands into your heart center. Inhale, raise your arms overhead. Look up. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Bring your hands to the floor. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step to the top of a push-up. Stack the bones of the arms. Okay, so top of a push-up with our knees off the mat is level two. You're always welcome and invited to take level one options. If you feel like the struggle or the effort begins to overtip your feelings of joyfulness, naturalness, and ease. I'm gonna demonstrate level two for the first round. Inhale, push the floor away from you. Exhale, rock forward and lower to elbow height. Keeping your hips and thighs off the floor, lift to upward facing dog, and then roll over the toes to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring your feet forward to your hands. Come halfway up, inhale. Bend your left knee and raise your right arm. Twist to the right, exhale. Come to center, inhale. Twist the other way, exhale. Come to center, halfway lift, inhale. Fold into the legs, exhale. Rise to stand, inhale, look up to the ceiling. Bring your hands to your heart center, exhale. Sweep the arms overhead, inhale. Fold forward over your legs, exhale. Gaze forward, flat back, flat front body, inhale. Step to the top of a push-up. Exhale. If you want to stick with level two, take a breath in with your knees lifted. Otherwise, as you breathe out, come to the knees, elbows tuck in, triceps roll back as you lower. Keep the hips on the floor, peel your chest off, bend elbows, this is important for cobra, and then go back to downward facing dog. Exhale. Take a few breaths here to find that balance. Through balance, we find strength and power. Through obsession, need, and a unwillingness to be in the, the truth of who we are, we create brittle types of strength. So we could be strong for a moment, but that's like a house of cards, we could lose it. So keep and maintain that balance for your vinyasa too. Take a deep breath in, lift your hips high. Exhale, bring your feet forward to your hands. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, bend the right knee and twist to the left, raise the left arm. 
Inhale, come to centre, halfway lift. Exhale, twist the other way. Inhale, come to centre. This time as you breathe out, you're going to bring your hands to your hips. You might need a little micro bend in the knees to protect the lower back. Pull the front body into the back body. Stay here. If you need more strength, if you need it to be a little bit harder, bring the arms forward. Hold and breathe. Inhale, stand up. Be very mindful of how that feels. If you've got any lower back issues going on, you don't want to come up with your arms forward. Bring the hands to the heart center and then bring the hands down beside you. Take a moment to let the body recover. It may take three rounds of breath, that's all. Inhale, reach the arms over here again. Just look forward. As you breathe out, you're going to stand on your right leg, bring the hands to the heart and send your left leg back. Virabhadrasana is free. So slowly sense your shoulders coming to hip height. Pull your front body into the back body. Stay here or just like before if you want more, bring the arms forward. Strengthening the legs, strengthening the body. Be patient. Breathe in and out. Ardha Chandrasana with all your concentration. Inhale, bring your right fingertips to the floor and roll your body open to the left. Your left toes face the side wall. Your center of your chest rolls open. Take a few breaths here to find your balance. So I'm going into some strong variations today because we are limited for time. So only take them if you know that this is, you know, fine for your body. So next variation is Chapasana. Bend your left knee, reach around with your left hand for your foot or ankle and start to open up the body. Breathe. So you're here with me or you can just be here in Ardha Chandrasana. Inhale. Exhale. With all your control, bend the right knee, stay strong, step back. Inhale, Virabhadrasana 2, come up. So if you feel that this right leg is screaming at you, mine is a little bit, just straighten a little bit. And then exhale, come into the lunge. Virabhadrasana 2. So the chest faces the side wall. The right knee presses open. Gaze forward. Give your body time to recover here, even though we're still in a reasonably strong energetic pose. Inhale deeply. Exhale, bring your hands down to the floor. Turn to the outer edge of the back foot. Vasistasana. Level two is to stack your right foot on top of your left. If that's too much, bring your right foot in front of your left. If that's still too much, bring your left knee to the mat. If you're unsure, here's level one. Okay, if you're starting to get stronger and more confident, here's an option. And then third level, level three, is set the feet. And anybody who is here will know the stronger variations. Take a breath in here. Exhale, turn towards the mat. Plant your palms. Rock forward and lower Chaturanga. Inhale, rise to upward facing dog. Exhale, roll over your toes to downward facing dog. Ah. Take a moment to let the body recover. Breathe. One more big breath in. Exhale, bring your feet forward to your hands. Inhale, come halfway up. Bend the left knee. Exhale, twist to the right. Raise your right arm. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, twist the other way. Inhale, come to center. Little micro bend in the knees. Exhale, hands to hips or forward. 
hold with all your attention on this inquiry as to are you, are you practicing in a balanced way? Not struggling and striving too much for a strength that you don't yet have and also not playing it safe and keeping it easy. Inhale, come to stand. Reach your arms overhead. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Take a moment with your hands beside you or your hands at your heart, giving the body that moment to make peace, to find ease. Inhale, reach your arms over here. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart, standing on your left leg, hinge forward, Virabhadrasana three, send your right leg back. And sense your shoulders coming down to hip height, and then pull your front body into your back body. Stay here with hands at heart, or if you can reach the arms forward, do so. Challenging a little bit more. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Ara Chandrasana. Inhale, left fingertips down, start to roll your body open to the right. Your right toes face the side wall. Your chest rolls open to the side wall. Stay here. Or if you want the stronger variation, often we take a little bit more time to warm into this one. I don't often do it on the first round. So, you know, take that into account that this is a shorter class than we usually do. So do not force your body into something that's not ready. It will simply rebel. Just like if you were forced to do something that you didn't want to do, you'd rebel. Keep a steady gaze. Dressy will help with your balance. Take a breath in. And out, Virabhadrasana two. Without just lumping that foot back, lower with light control and come up, inhale. If you need to rest that leg straighten a little bit, then come back down. Ah, breathe that calm into your body. It needs it to stay in a powerful place of balance. One more breath in here. Exhale, bring it down to the floor. Plant your right palm and spin that back foot open. Side plank, Vasisthasana. Here's level two. Here's an easier variation. Here is another variation. Take what you feel like taking. You can do this. Be strong, but also be powerful. Big breath in. Exhale, bring the palms to the floor, knees up or down, I'm demonstrating level one, lower chaturanga. Rise cobra if you're taking a level one variation. And then go back to downward facing dog, Adhanukha Svanasana. A moment here to breathe. Inhale. Exhale, bring your feet forward to your hands. Inhale, flat back. Bend the right knee. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center. Switch sides. Exhale. Inhale, center, hands to hips or forward, exhale, strong. Inhale, rise, reach your arms over here. Hands to heart, exhale, stand on right foot, send left leg back. Ara Chandrasana, inhale, right fingertips to the floor, open your chest to the side wall, reach your left arm up, inhale. Stay here or exhale, bend the left knee and take hold of the foot. 
Everyone take a breath in and a breath out. Virabhadrasana two, with strength, not gravity. Step back and rise up, just like this, inhale. Bring it down to the mat, exhale, plant left palm and outer edge of left foot, Vasisthasana. If you want a stronger variation, just pick that right leg up, inhale. Chaturanga Dandasana, turn to the floor, knees up or down, lower. Cobra or up dog, this is upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, roll over the toes and go back. Inhale, exhale, bring your feet forward to your hands. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, bend the left knee and twist to the right. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, bend the right knee and twist to the left. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, hands to hips or forward, strong. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, bring your hands down, shift weight to left foot, send the right leg back, Virabhadrasana three. Keep your gaze steady for balance. Inhale, left fingertips down, right arm reaches up. Stay here if you're wobbling. Otherwise, exhale, bend the right knee. Take the foot or ankle in the hand. Everyone breathe in and out. Virabhadrasana two. Bend your left knee, lightly step your right foot back and come up. Exhale, bring the hands down. Plant your right palm, switch to the outer edge of that foot. Vasisthasana, here's another variation for my strong level two yogis. Chaturanga Dandasana. Exhale, turn, you can always skip it. If you want to skip it, like me, who's tired, go back to child's pose. I'm going to take about three breaths in down dog or child's pose. Giving yourself that moment to recover. And attune to the beating of the heart. The flow of the breath. Now plug the shoulders down and into the body and it will free up your neck. So think of the tops of the shoulders moving away from the ears. If you're in down dog, that is. And for those of you, oh, that's so nice, Kim. It's a really nice down dog. For those of you in child's pose, come up to down dog. Raise your right leg, inhale. Start to look towards the hands and step the foot between them. Exhale. Prasarita Parottanasana. Turn your toes to the left, to the wide edge of your mat. Walk your hands halfway down. I'm demonstrating if you're unsure. And then exhale, fold into those legs. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, fold. And you're going to pause in the fold, just enjoying the stretch in the hamstrings. Let your head be heavy. Sometimes I shake it out quite vigorously to release the weight. So you nod it from side to side. Now, as you breathe in, you're going to come to your halfway lift. Send your left fingertips forward. Exhale, walk your right hand and your head underneath the left arm and hold on to the left foot, the foot that's at the back of the mat. Use the strength in the right arm to twist your body towards the back leg. And you can start to walk the left arm over the ear, or behind the head, I should say. So you're coming into quite a deep stretch. Yep. 
And the trick to this is to have your head underneath the left arm. Some of you, beautiful Melanie, some of you will be super stretchy and you will start to walk the left arm all the way behind the head towards the right foot. If that's too difficult, walk your right foot a little bit closer to your left foot. I like how I said this isn't technical. It's a little bit technical. <laughs> Beautiful. Nice, Tamsin. Okay. My God, my hair is just out of control today. Anyway, it's not about my hair. Come back to center. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, travel to the front of your mat. Bring your right toes forward, pyramid pose. Step your left foot in and out. So you're looking like this. Your left foot is on a 45 degree angle. Your right toes are forward. And you're just gonna fold into the front leg. Take a deep breath in, look forward. Exhale, fold into that front leg. If you've got tight hamstrings and this is enough for you, great. If you want a stronger variation, come into your halfway lift inhale. Take your right hand inside the right foot and hold on to the outer edge of the left foot. Drop the right shoulder, drop the head and gaze out and underneath the left arm. It's a deep stretch in the right leg. Start to walk the left fingertips forward. Breathe. Okay, release to your pyramid pose. Your, your forward fold. Standing splits. Leap forward, inhale, lift your left leg up off the mat, look forward. Exhale, step back to lunge, bend your right knee, leap your left foot all the way back. Plant your palms, inhale, step to plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga or feel free to skip it. Flowing through cobra or up dog and then back to downward facing dog. So for those of you who weren't here when I mentioned this before, this is a scheduled 45 minute class. I have had um, requests for longer and I cannot change it on the timetable once everyone's booked in. So to get us to the peak pose, we're gonna go for an hour today. If you need to go, you'll get the recording if you wanna do the rest of the class later on. Raise your left leg, inhale. Step the foot forward between the hands. Exhale. Walk your hands halfway towards the back foot as you spin the toes to the wide edge of your mat. Inhale. And fold into the legs. Woo. Exhale. Just enjoy a moment here. Come halfway up, inhale. Reach your right fingertips forward. Drop the head. Go underneath your right arm. Your left hand holds onto your back foot. The trick to this is your head being under the right arm. You start to walk the right arm towards the opposite foot. If you're flexible and you're working on this variation and you can't quite get to your other foot, Walk your left foot closer to your right. Now this is all probably feeling, looking and sounding technical. If it's too technical, just take a twist towards the back foot. Okay? Stiram Sukham Asanam. There must be steadiness in every pose, which means effort and that requirement to be really stable in our bodies. There must be ease within every pose, which is a feeling that you can be here for as long as I keep bloody well talking. You know, that feeling of will the teacher shut up? You should have a willingness to be able to stay here. There must be enough ease in the body.
Exhale. Extract yourself out. Come to your halfway lift. Inhale. Turn to the front of the mat. Exhale. So your left toes are forward. Your right foot hops in and down. Your right toes angle forward. And then just fold over that front leg. So here is a variation that I know everyone can stay in. If you want more, take a halfway lift, inhale, stand firm in the back foot. Left hand goes inside the left foot, the front foot, and it holds onto the outer edge of the back foot, of the back leg. Right fingertips go forward and the head is heavy, like a ripe piece of fruit, about to fall off a tree. Great. Extract yourself out, come to your halfway lift, inhale, fold, exhale. Standing splits, standing on your left foot, you're going to lift your right one, look forward, inhale, leap back to lunge, exhale. Plant your palms, step to plank, inhale. You're either going to lower chaturanga or skip it and come with me straight to down dog. Find balance through your breath. Prepare to flow. To flow, we need an even, predictable wave to ride upon our breath. Let's put it together. Raise your right leg. Inhale. Set the foot between the hands. Exhale. Kasarita. Turn your toes and walk to the wide edge of your mat. Inhale. Fold. Exhale. Halfway lift. Bring left fingertips forward. Inhale. Drop the head under that arm and hold on to back foot with right hand. Exhale. Come to centre. Inhale. Travel to the front of your mat as you turn your right toes forward. Exhale, step your left foot one foot in and fold. Halfway lift, inhale. You're either going to fold naturally or bring your right hand inside your right leg and hold on to outer edge of left leg. Exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, release. Fold, exhale. Standing splits, inhale, lift left foot, look forward. Low lunge, exhale, plant your palms. Plank, inhale. Lower chaturanga, or if you want to skip it, go straight to down dog, exhale. Inhale. And we should all be in downward facing dog on the exhale. Left leg lifts, inhale. Step the foot, exhale. Cross the reader, walk away from the front foot, turn your toes to the wide edge of your mat, inhale, fold, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, bring right fingertips forward, drop head under the arm, exhale, hold on to the back leg with left hand. Halfway lift, inhale. Travel to the front of the mat, exhale, turn left toes forward, step right foot in and down and fold. Halfway lift, inhale, and you're just going to fold or bring your left arm inside left leg, hold on to right leg and fold, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, fold, exhale. Standing splits, inhale. Low lunge, exhale. Plank, inhale. Lower lift, exhale. If you're flowing, you'll come through cobra or up dog, inhale. And we'll all be in down dog, exhale. Everyone breathe in here. 
As you breathe out, you're going to come to sitting, just like we began class in meditation, that the body is ready for our feet pose. So come to your seat. Close your eyes. Experience the heightened crown flow, blood flow, lymph flow, circulation of the body. And feel everything settle into a greater sense of efficiency. When the body's efficient, first of all, it's got to be in a state of peace to be efficient. So I'll tell you this, the body can be efficient reasonably in the mind when we are in a state of negativity, in a, in a negative emotional state, in ill health, if we are at peace with that, that is when we are efficient when we are not resisting the state that we are in. Yes, happiness and health is the best state to be in. But to be friend and bless and be at peace with the times we're tired, frustrated, sick, aching, angry, uh, we can still be very efficient. So just take a moment to find that peace. Okay, the peak pie is a sundial. Okay, um, I think I'm going to mirror. I haven't been mirroring. I need to watch one of these back. You're going to pick up a foot. Uh, if I was mirroring, I'd say your right foot. And this is for those of you who are feeling open in the sides of your body, open in the hamstring. You're going to take your left hand to the top of your right foot. You're going to take your other hand and you're going to pick that foot up and bring the, the leg all the way up onto the shoulder. So you kind of drop your right shoulder, snuggle it underneath that leg. You're now going to take your right arm out to the side. You can bring the right sit bone down or leave it lifted, it doesn't really matter. And slowly start to straighten that leg, picking it over the ear. This leg can be straight or bent, it really doesn't matter. Beautiful. And release. Again, come to sitting. Feel that all that energy, energy has been released. It can release all the old. It can liberate all the good. It can move us forward into the new. Take a moment to recover, to land, to touch down. To make peace with where you are. All right, other side. Pick up your left foot. You're going to hold on to the top of the left foot with the right hand. The other arm literally lifts this leg up, up onto that shoulder. Sit bone can be up or down. Then the left arm goes out, the left leg starts to straighten. Breathe. And release. Beautiful work, everyone. Um, come to your backs. As you come to your back, you're going to hug your knees into your chest. And 
continue to hug the right knee into the chest as you straighten the left leg onto the mat. Take a deep breath in. Cross your right knee over your body, coming into a twist. Come back to centre, hug your left knee in, straighten your right leg out. And twist. And come to rest in Shavasana. Your back on your back, legs long, palms face up, eyes closed. Start to wake up. That's a stretch and move. In your own time. yourself over to the side and come join me seated. Sitting in our final moments of meditation. So level two vinyasa is that, that place where we start to become masters of our craft. It's that that level that attracts the people that are in love with this practice, that want to be a little more devoted to it, that want to take things to the next level. Be it the, the incredible uh, ability of the body to do these peak poses or uh, of the mind to stay humble in the face of such wonderful achievements. And one of those things that I think is so important in moving into, uh, you know, advancing any practice, whether it's vinyasa or yoga or art or cooking or parenthood, is to do so with balance. And that gives us the stamina and the longevity um, to, to go the distance. 
if we are over efforting, if we are trying, if we are striving, if we are in a place of ego, yes, we can fake these achievements for a short time, but it's brittle. It's like a house of cards. It falls apart under strain. If we can infuse these powerful, strong practices with love, with softness, with the feminine energy, with the yin, I even mentioned this in yin class the other day, we become powerful. And I personally believe power is a greater way to describe our strength. The synergy, the unity, the yoga, the yoke of Siram Sukham Asana. Palms together at heart center, honoring the divine essence within every living being, coming into that place where we know that in this deep place within us, we are one. Namaste. Thanks, Denise. Thanks so much, Jess. Good to see you. You too. See you, Tamsin. Thank you. Thanks, Denise. Nice to see everyone. Thanks, Denise. Thanks so much. Thanks, Denise. See you all. Thanks, Denise. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks, everyone. I said it wasn't that technical, but it kind of was a little bit technical. But anyway. Uh, it rained on the outside, so I came in. I saw that, Dan. I saw that you had changed. Um, mm. Thank you, Denise. Thank you. Thanks so Thank much. You. See you later. Thanks, Have a Gordon. lovely day. See you tomorrow. Have an awesome day. I will. See you later. Bye. 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 How'd you go, Jeannie? What do you reckon? That was great. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you so much, Denise. Thank you so much. I used to come to yoga, uh, yoga Sanctuary like 10 years ago when we lived in Miami Bay. Oh, God, I just recognised your face. I'm not sure or not. No. Um, yeah, and it's so nice to be able to practice. Thank yeah. you. Well, have you moved away, have you? Well, I'm just over the city side. Yeah. Which is too hard to get there. But I'm moving back to Milford after lockdown. So I'll hopefully be able to come soon. Oh, good. Yeah, pop into the studio. Well, like I said, I'm going to keep on the online anyway. So um, it's been quite neat. A lot of people that have moved away have been able to come back to class. So yay. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I did. It was such a good flow. Thank oh, good. You. You'll get the recording sent to you anyway. So you can do it again if you want to do it again. I'll definitely come sign up to more. I'm going to go into Mind Body now and see what I can sign up to. Perfect. Let me know if you get any trouble with it. Sometimes it's going to be a bit funny, but... All good. Thanks, Denise. Okay. Bye. 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 All right, everyone. I'm over and outing. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.